Hey guys, let's get ready together today. I'm going to try out some new products for you and I hope that I don't have too much light here. We're going to work on this. I'm going to try to move in a little closer because I think you could see me a little better. I am coming off of a two weeks of being really sick, so we'll see how well my voice holds out. Um, don't get the cred that's going around. <laughs> you will have it for a long time. <clears throat> okay, so just to get started, I'm going to start with some new products that I just got and I'm excited to try. I wanted to share with you, we're going to use the translucent powder today. Um, we're always going to use the color correcting tinted moisturizer. This is an amazing product. I use it every day, even if I'm doing a no makeup look. Um, the Lash Sense Under Sense and Lash Sense. I actually got these in the full size. This is the full size. You can see how small they are. They're not very big. Um, I had the dual ended one here. And I've had it for about six months and there's still stuff in there. I just find it's getting a little dry so I decided to buy new. Then we're going to do some color correcting with Candlelight Shadow Scents under the eyes. And maybe a little blush. And possibly a little bit on the brows. I want to try the Smoke Topaz on my brows. So we're going to try that today. And then I'm going to show you some new lip colors that I just got. So first off, start with some color correcting. Something I was just recently learning. You always want to start... <clears throat> with your color corrector before you do your foundation. Reason being, you use less foundation because your uh, skin is more even. Now our color correcting tinted moisturizer and our foundations all actually correct some of them up to 10 shades. I think this one does 10 shades. The Foundation is just several shades. Now this is very peachy for my skin. But I'm going to try it anyway. Try to cover up that little ward there. Let it sit for a second. The shadow scents I love because it is so blendable. This is the first time I've used candlelight. It may be a little bit too peachy for my skin. I have very pink toned skin. And if it is, one of the things I could try is Whisper Pink, which I don't have. Sandstone Pearl I have, but I only have in a shimmer. So I may have to go to that. It's a little more of a cool color. And how that looks. Is everybody else enjoying this freezing cold fall weather? <laughs> I was sick during the nice weather and couldn't even go anywhere. Wow, that looks great. Really color corrected under there. I'm going to get a different brush for next time. Okay, next step is going to be foundation, but I'm going to use tinted moisturizer today, and this is color correcting. You can see that I love this stuff. And I also love how it pumps up to the top so that I'm using everything in the bottle. Now, this is a Real Techniques stippling brush. You can see it has shorter bristles and then tall bristles. This thing is really great. I had just bought this. I used to apply foundation with uh, a flat brush which is very very um, <clears throat> gives you even distribution and really puts it on your skin this leaves it a little bit of a thinner coverage which I like I want it to be kind of lighter and 
my freckles to show through, but I still have that coverage. The thing that I like about the CCTM is that it already has green primer in it, and so it really cancels out all my redness. Um, oops, I didn't blend. And start from the middle of the face and work out. Now, maybe you don't want to use a stippling brush. Maybe you want a really full coverage. Maybe you have a melasma. I have a little bit right here. <laughs> and you want um, acne scars covered. Well, then you just need a very flat, dense brush. And you'll get a lot better coverage. Oh, my eyebrows. Because I've been sick, I missed my eyebrow appointment three times. <laughs> and I really have no eyebrows if I don't get them uh, tinted. So, and it really does make a difference in your look. It also makes saves me time in the mornings when I'm doing my face. And just makes me feel a little more confident. I have very light, fuzzy white hairs instead of dark ones, and so it tints all of those too, and so it just makes them look fuller and nicer. This brush is amazing, and it was really inexpensive. Now, I'm going to let that sit. Make sure I'm blended here. Sometimes I put it on just a little more straight under here because I have more scars there. I want to cover that. And then I blend more everywhere else. So then, color corrector is going to correct as we let it sit for a few seconds. So while I do that, <clears throat> I'm going to curl my eyelashes and brush my brows, which today look kind of scary crazy our uh, mascara goes on very very wet formulation and I discovered that it stays on better and goes on better if my lashes are super curly and if I just swipe them straight up, not do a lot of back and forth wiggling. It also goes on better if you have a comb. And somehow I am miss missing my lash comb. Okay, I'm just going to do a teensy dot a blush today. Our blush does not take very much at all. It's very highly pigmented. We have some new formulas coming out I'm super excited about. This is Toasted Rose. And literally going to use next to nothing. I didn't even <laughs> squirt me out of the bottle. I have naturally rosy cheeks anyway, but this blush stays on really good. Do you have one side of your face that you feel like the makeup blends better? I do, and it must be the face that does not rub into the pillow is my biggest guess. <clears throat> I'm brush my brows. I think I'm actually, I don't know if I want to fill in brows today or not. Seriously need to get them done. <laughs> Okay, let's do some quick powder. And our powder actually comes with a brush attached, and there's a little filter in here, and you can see how it's um, 
really loose in there and then you just hit it on your hand and get whatever you want down in there and then when you put it on And get the lid off. You can push the brush up like this. You can push it down and make it really loose. And I'm actually going to hit my T zone. especially under my eyes to help with crepiness. My face is definitely crepey after being sick. <clears throat> okay, I did not think today about what I'm going to do with my eyes. Let's just do a quick Sandstone, mocha java, maybe a little bit of garnet. I don't think I'm even going to do liner today. Let's do actually pink opal instead. <clears throat> I'll show you guys liner another time. Um, something that I love about our shadows is you can use them as liner. And I do that just about every day. We have some new liners coming out that are liquid and they're sparkly. And if you know me, everything I use is sparkly. Oh, I forgot about the topaz. to practice that one. Okay. This is Pink Opal Shimmer. It is very shimmery, which I love. It's also very sheer. Don't need very much. And I am just going to apply it up above. I'm going to do not much of anything but simple today. Just going to the grocery store in the library, paying a few bills. Just something real basic. Then I just like to hit it out. I did not prime my eyelids, something I need to start doing. It really helps. And the candlelight will help with that. I'm just kind of patting it in instead of spreading it around. You have really good quick coverage. Okay. Then we're going to do Mocha Java Shimmer. This is one of my favorite colors. Very neutral and cool. I think it works nice both for cool or warm tones. And basically, I'm just putting it all over my lid today. Normally, I just hit the crease. <clears throat> and then I'm going to use a blender brush and just kind of blend out the edges and then pat down on the lid gives it that staying power And this is just going to be a very natural look for today. So, we'll do some more glam looks another time.
<clears throat> okay, then with the garnet, garnet is gorgeous. But you just do not need much at all. And what I've figured out, I'm just taking the wand and kind of taking a little tiny bit off the edge. pretty color so pretty you can see how um, pigmented and dark it is I'm just gonna tamp it out on my hand to kind of blend and then just put it in the corner of my crease just to give a little tiny bit of depth I'm really not wanting a very strong look today um, Because it's one of those days. Nope. Got a little bit more than I bargained for there. <laughs> Not much color at all. So, but I'm just going super light today for fun. <clears throat> okay, so I've already my lashes so they're all ready to go I um, did not do my brows I'm gonna let them go today I have cleaned my lips with a wet microfiber cloth and I think I'm gonna show you today kiss me Katie or cappuccino kiss me Katie is gonna be the winner it's a little more warm than my eye colors are. I think I'm going to go with it anyway. Something that I do a lot of times, and I'll show you next time, is cleaning under my eyes has become a really big thing. I do my eyes, then my face, and clean underneath, or my face and my eyes. It just depends. But to get a really clean line, it really helps. And our Foops remover is amazing. Wow, this brush is totally cool. This is our Undersense. So, tip about mascara. Your lashes will be more conditioned, moisturized, and grow better if you have a primer underneath, which is what our undersense is. It also builds lashes, so if you have very small that you're wanting to build on, you can do that. Helps with waterproof. It is a very wet formula on both, so you have to really let them dry after you apply. I have noticed <clears throat> A huge amount of growth in my lashes and I'm not applying our lash um, conditioner this is just it this is just our lash builder our under sense that's all I do when I put my mascara on I pretty well go straight up Oops, I didn't blend my mask. I don't have to go back and forth because it tends to make little flaky. I wear contacts and I don't have trouble with this. Um, the only time I've noticed having trouble with it being sensitive to my eyes is if I got it right in my eyeball, <laughs> which happens. Um, <clears throat> if I slept in it, which is not good for your eyes anyway, or if I applied it too fast. I didn't let it dry if it if I'm rubbing it back and forth and getting lots of little flaky pieces off whereas if I put it on really long and up and cover it um, doesn't tend to have little pieces like that and it could last 18 20 hours all day I have not had trouble with that 
the waterproof part is amazing. This is the best waterproof. I never used to use waterproof before because it was so drying and getting it off is a problem. I never could use any kind of waterproof because I couldn't get it off my lashes at the end of the day. Well, it's not going to help much if I get it in my eye and irritate my eye at the end of the day or I have no way to get it off. And ah, I need my lash comb. This is where our um, Foops remover is amazing. It takes it off in about 60 seconds. You just apply a couple dots, let it sit, gently cleanse it away. I use a microfiber cloth and follow with cleanser. It's amazing. I will demo that for you guys sometime. Okay. Very, very simple. I think I need another coat. Do a really quick one. I think I am going to bend this mascara brush. Does anybody else do that? Do you bend your mascara brush? I've heard it's really great for application. There's some long lashes. Okay. All right. I think my phone is about ready to end. So what I'm going to do is go to the next, and then I will show you the new colors and apply. So this is part one, and then we will go to part two. Thanks, guys.